What a day for it. Look at that. That is sun. Proper English warmth. So, G, are you excited for your first ever football game, let alone a Chelsea match? This is your first time ever at a football match? Yeah, it is. First time ever at a live sport game? Yes! I'm Are you buzzing. excited? I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. You actually do look like you're very much looking forward to this, which fills me with a lot of <laughs> happiness. Yes, guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to a match day vlog for Chelsea Burnley. We're in the streets of London, and it is this one's first ever Chelsea game. <laughs> Are you excited to go to your first yeah. ever sporting fixture, let alone yeah. a football match? Yeah, I'm buzzing, with you especially. I'm it's going to be good. I've got a feeling we're going to win today. And the reason for that is you guys love the collab I did with Joey and Josh. So we decided we're going to do it again today. Going to go to the pub now, have a little steak potentially, maybe a burger, not sure. Definitely a pint of Guinness. And then we're going to head to the ground probably about 45 minutes before kickoff. I'm loving this. The weather, it's not quite blistering and it's not quite anything above UV3. But we're taking it. It's good. It's a beautiful day for a game of football. What's this going to be? A great vlog. What do people have to do to the vlog? <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. And you can always check out our vlog channel in the description if you like the vibes. Sophie's. Fries, <laughs> All right, there's the old rump. Is that rump or ribeye? We did order ribeye. I, I ordered the ribeye. You, you ordered ribeye, didn't you? <laughs> Joey, Joey's ordered the most expensive steak on the menu. What have you got, Joey? Have a look at that. This is the knockout of the night. That yeah. is the knockout of the night. He's earned that last week. And what have you got, Mr. Joshua? I've got Joshua? a little fillet. Fill it. And I've got my vegetables on top. Look, look at the veg. That is a lovely Ooh. salsa verde <laughs> that will go very nicely with the score prediction. What are we going for? I'm going to go 4 2. Two goals early from Burnley and then Chelsea get a full back. So Chelsea, Burnley go 2 0 up? Burnley go 2 0 up? Yes. You're off, you're nuts. What, what, what are you going for? 3 1. Yeah. Raheem Sterling will get a double and he'll prove me wrong. No, I could just see Jacko. that. Jackson. Jacko. Jacko. Yeah. Right now, flip that around. Flip that around and tell us your score prediction. Because he's, he's I will. at the moment. He you've just, he I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this because now you've just heard the names of three players that you didn't know until about <laughs> 70 seconds ago. Who's scoring and what is the score? I have no idea. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna throw some numbers up. Throw some names as well. Four, one, Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer, yes. That's all I got. I'm gonna say five one Chels. Oh bloody hell, look, we've got a horse. I have not seen one of those with a policeman on it for about five years. Chelsea, Cole Palmer double. We've also moved from a Guinness to a Beera. Moretti. Cheers, Joey, mate. What you think on Mudrick. Is Mudrick an elite player waiting to happen? I have posters of Mikhail Mudrick on my wall and I think about him every night before Under I go to sleep. Wall. Under the bed. Under the bed. Every... <laughs> and as Joey also says, they're also slightly sticky and I won't say why. Petrovic, Gusto, the Sassy and Badia Shield sent back pairing, which is what we went for. We did. We did. We're going to make this a blue day. Do your chant. Do your chant. Do your chant. Chelsea, Chelsea. <laughs> my favourite Chelsea chant is Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. Great. Go on, do only a pound, mate. Go on. You only don't have a pound. <laughs> hey! This is the shoot. part where we've got to give it a hug. <laughs> I think it's. What a great Come little Come on, mate. I fucking love that. I Next might time. actually move back. Are you moving back? I might be after this. Everyone in the comments, say to this boy to get back to London. For fuck's sake, he's waited too long. What do you think of our stadium from the outside? It's very blue. It's very blue. It's lovely. It's actually a, such a great day for a game of football, this. Blue skies, blue hoodies, by the way. They're coming soon. It's been a long time. I've been talking about these for so long. But anyway, Matthew Harden lower. Row FF today. Just about here. Got it, Chelsea! Burnley free kick, four minutes in. It's been a bit of a slow start from Chelsea, to be honest. Slightly worried about this too, because we don't have the most height in the team with the wall. Alright, 17 minutes, still nil-nil. It's one of those games where Chelsea are just starting slow, but when we get forward, we're looking good. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea!
Sassy puts it in. 1 0 Chelsea, 20 minutes. No goal. VAR. Okay, so it's the 40th minute. Mudrick's gone down, it's a penalty to Chelsea. Chelsea! 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 It's the right substitution. Someone! Come on, Chelsea! Come on, Chelsea! Come on, Chelsea! 73 minutes gone. It's still 1-1. Sterling has come on. I would love for him to have some redemption here. I would love for him to do something which will change my opinion of him. We've got 17 minutes against 10 men against a team that have been relegated from November. That was Sterling. 2-1 Chelsea. That was fantastic for Raheem Sterling. Puts in to Cole Palmer, 2-1. It's a beautiful finish. You never doubt him when he gets in that position. Sterling's flick is fabulous, and I'm delighted for him. I've said he's been poor, and he has been poor. He's deserved the criticism. He's deserved the flack. But that touch deserves the praise. And I'm here today, and I love that. That is fabulous. Chelsea are 2-1 up. It's taken a long time, but we're winning. We're getting the job done. It's a great finish, Palmer. You expect it, as he said. But... Sterling, well done. That's what we want to see. I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> they got 10 men. They got 10 men. I actually want to cry. I genuinely want to cry. I've, I've come all the way across the world for this. It's 2-2. Two -two. Petrovic nearly gets there. Like... I'm just so tired of this team. It's I ne I normally go away from Stamford Bridge and I'm excited. Now I'm like I want to sleep for a week. I want to hibernate for a year. But, oh, by the way, I hope you love this side angle of my head. All right, guys, Chelsea two, Burnley two. I'm in the Matthew Harden lower. I'm literally right at the back next to the brick wall. Two thirds of the game we're playing against ten men. Chelsea create minimal opportunities. At the end of the game, we draw 2-2 against the team that are getting relegated. We've got Alfie Gilchrist coming over with his shirt, throwing it into the crowd. You've got Cucurella coming and clapping, briefly. The atmosphere around this club is gone. I've literally been here once in nearly five years. And I've come here today, we've not lost, so it's okay. But like, we've drawn 2-2 against 10 men, a team that are getting relegated. And we've got like, every time we get the ball in a good position, the ball goes out the stadium. Like, we can't shoot. We've got no passion. There's no... We're, we've got three minutes to go. And there's no urgency. And even the crowd... And this isn't against the crowd, because I've lost my voice, so it's not like I'm not doing my bit. But, like, you've got nothing to go with. You've got no reason to back the players to be doing something. There isn't any reason, as a fan, to be like, right, we're going to give everything to them to push them because they don't push they don't push they're against 10 men this team are getting relegated Burnley are going down we've just drawn 2-2 two -two. Cole Palmer was fantastic he scored two goals the penalty was exquisite the goal that he scored is fabulous Sterling comes on I think he does very well but Gusto I thought was amazing too but he's now injured like it's just a never ending cycle of just like oh we're always just like oh I don't know when it's going to change. I haven't even got a ticket for Man United next week, but to be honest, I'm not even that bothered if I go or not. I'd rather watch at home. I'd rather not spend 180 quid, which is 4x the face value of a ticket, and just like get upset and disappointed. I'm actually genuinely upset. We've not lost, but I'm upset. Because it's, 
I, I, I talk about this team every day from the other side of the world and it drains me there, but it drains me here. I'm in Stamford Bridge and I'm drained. I'm in Stamford Bridge and I'm pissed off. Well done, Burnley. Ten men did very well. They came here, they tried to play. Their goalie was playing a high line. All of my predictions before the game look a bit silly, but like I wanted to be enthusiastic. But it's rubbish. It's just really, it's not good enough. There's no way you play against 10 men, Burnley, at home and draw 2-2. And I'll say nothing less than embarrassment. Embarrassment. I'm not going to say sack the manager because that's just a waste of time. But it's, an emba it's embarrassing. Chelsea are rubbish. Like, <laughs> they're rubbish. Period. Anyway, your first game as a Chelsea fan. Did you have fun? Yeah. It was, was the bovril nice? The bovril was good. The bovril was nice. Yeah. Bugger. Guys, I'm actually genuinely sad. I. It's, it's easier to watch from afar. To watch from an armchair is easier than being here and caring about it. Because, like, I feel like I've put in more of a shift sometimes. Mm. I don't think the players are good enough. I don't. Having watched that, I don't think these Chelsea players are good enough to deliver what I would expect from my Chelsea. But that's... I think they care. I think they care. I just don't think they're good enough. There was a lot of very average performances today. Can't say it was a referee. Burnley fought. They dug in. But it's, everything is so slow. The build-up is slow. The idea is like you don't... You expect to see some moments where they players try things and then like no one is on the same wavelength. It's, it looks to me like 11 players, and this is the first time I've seen it in the flesh this season. It looks like 11 players that are like obviously paid to be out there. But like, I don't know, do these guys go out and watch movies together? Do these guys go to the theatre together? No, they don't. They don't. They don't do anything outside of their jobs. And they don't look like teammates. They just look like professional paid players. Burnley look like a team and they're already down. They didn't even like the seats in the away end. You know what I mean? Like Chelsea 2, Burnley 2. Six things we learned. I promise you it's not going to be positive. I've had a great day today. Lovely to see Joey. Lovely to see Josh as always before. And it's good to take you to your first game. Thanks, Steve. This club drained me. They, they actually genuinely drained me. I'm actually very upset. We didn't even lose. Oh well. <laughs>